City officials are now getting their first look at possible damage. Of course, sunrise has been about an hour now. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson is at Mobile Police Headquarters right now. And he joins us live by phone. Good, May uh, good morning, Mayor Stimson. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, Good we morning. can. Good yes. to hear your voice. And can you kind of give us, get us up to speed on how things are looking now that the sun is up and we can see a little bit more? Well, all the reports that we're getting are, are very positive. Uh, last night we had the Joint Operations Command staffed by leadership from the uh, Fire Rescue, MPD, as well as uh, Public Works. And so we had people out all night long, you know, observing what was going on. We had urban forestry out uh, cutting limbs out of roads until midnight. So really, this morning, uh, the very few, we've had very few calls. That's a good report to hear. Now, several of uh, the essential services were closed yesterday. I know uh, some of the trash and garbage pickup was uh, not, uh, didn't happen yesterday. What will get back on track today at this early hour? Can you tell us any of those things? Yeah. Right. Uh, trash and garbage uh, should have started rolling at 7 o'clock this morning. And so they're on their uh, regular schedule. We recognize that some people may not be able to get the cans out, but uh, if necessary, we'll make up on Saturday. But uh, we have regular pickup uh, today. And Mayor Simpson, we're getting a lot of questions about courts and things happening. Do you know what's going on as far as the schedule for that? Yes, uh, my understanding is that uh, courts will start operating on Wednesday. Uh, that would be our circuit court as well as municipal court. Mayor Stimson, some of the uh, areas that normally seem prone to flooding around the city of Mobile, <coughs> have you had a chance to assess many of those yet? Well, from the uh, people that were coming into the Joint Operation Command this morning, uh, really there was very little uh, reports of flooding in the city. Of course, I think with the rain, amount of rain that we have coming in with the debris that we have in the streets, you know, there probably will be. But at this point, uh, we've been very fortunate. And as we continue to look ahead today, is there anything you're anticipating that citizens need to be aware of uh, as, as they get up and get out this morning? No, we had the Alabama Power Company representative uh, at the Joint Operation Command with us. Uh, obviously, they're right on top of all of those calls, I think there were 20, about 21,000 uh, households without electricity, but, you know, they have a plan, they're working it, and power should be restored, you know, as, as soon as they can you know, get to it. As far as the roadways, are you advising folks to stay in this morning if they don't have to go in as early and <laughs> sort of a, make it a little uh, slower day to get out on the roads again? Well, I really think it all is clear. I mean, there is some debris in some certain places, but uh, I don't think it's an impediment to people going to work or going to uh, do their normal business. And real quick, just to reiterate, you say courts and things will be getting started at noon, right? So if people have plans to do things with the government and the city, noon would be a good time to start thinking that? No, just the courts. The courts start at noon. Uh, city Hall uh, will be open at that um, at the government plaza, the, the city employees should be uh, reporting at 8 o'clock this morning. All right, so back to normal for the schedule for City Hall. Mayor Stanley That's Simpson, correct. thank you so much for checking in with us this morning. And, of course, uh, look forward to talking to you a little later today after you've had an opportunity to see more of uh, the remnants of Gordon. Absolutely.